minute. I figured we could start off with one of my most fucking heinous characters that we got on the internet because nobody really talks about Hasbulla like I do. Everybody's like, oh, he's cute. He likes to punch you. If this fucking kid came up to me because I got punched when I was a kid by another little smaller kid, okay? And you know what? I think it really stems from my fear of redheads, you know? I never know what kind of bullshit they're going to be on. Now, I had grew up watching Problem Child, and that kid was, uh, you know, always just planning to kill every adopted parent that you know, took him in, okay? He was always, like, doing this fucking... I don't know, okay? I, don't, I can't explain it. I think that a lot of people are in agreement, though, that redheads are, you know, some of them have some issues, okay? All right? So anyways, Hasbulla is, you know, the, pers the person that I don't like the most, okay? He be punching people. He thinks he's a damn jokester. And, and if this kid fucking gets famous because of that, I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay? I would only hope that Russia be sending them missiles fucking real close. Okay? Because we've, we've grown up in a world where, like, everybody is filming a little man. Okay, I thought, like, we got rid of that after that bagel guy flipped out on the girl in the fucking coffee shop or whatever, and everybody was like, ha-ha, it was a joke. You know, Howard Stern used to bring on munchkins on his show. You ever heard of Beetlejuice? And they would make fun of him because he couldn't even talk. He was up, f fucked up, all fucked up. Now we got Hasbul, and everybody's treating him nice. I don't like this fucking kid, man. I want to take his fingers and bite him off. I'm just kidding, but he's a real issue, and, and I... He's just, you know, how much time does this kid have left? Because what I've, you know, what I've been thinking for a minute, you know, it's not like it's a new thing. I think everybody's smart enough to see what's going on here. He, he has handlers. He has people that take him around and tour him to other places where fucking he could punch. Okay, what a life. All this kid has to do is walk in looking fucked up, looking like a grandfather. He's got like a terrible face. I mean, what the fuck is this? You know, he's never going to get laid. I think he's 20 years old, and that's, like, not good. Because nobody ever gave him the time. It never gave him a book, never gave him shit. He came out, and I don't know how it, why it happened this late in life. I don't know who cap, you know, capitalized on this kid. I really honestly believe he was in some type of Russian uh, home, okay? And Russians are always looking for the next best thing to get people in America hooked on TikTok because they be working with China. And they're like, how can we get into people's phones? Oh, we'll just have some little fucking freak just pop up on your For You page constantly and you can't even get out. Your fucking the viruses are just infiltrating your, your uh, dick pictures and they're sending them back. And that's my biggest fear is my, you know, somebody sees me not, you know, in the best light, okay? Now, it's always a good light, okay? I always be doing good angles. You know, I don't really have to do them a lot of angles. It's kind of hard, okay? I've got to set my phone back 10 feet just to let out that leg. And that's disgusting. So, let's hop in. Let's see what Hasbulla's doing, okay? I can already tell he's fucking looking down. Probably going to kick this guy right in the knee. <laughs> you know, fuck this, dude. It's always this. He always is fucking hitting. I just wish somebody... Oh, see? I fucking told... Bullshit! What the fuck is this? Why do people let him do this? This kid's going to grow up because eventually his time's going to end. And the people that are actually stealing all his money... Because these people that are handling him, these Russian guys... I can guarantee you they get about 80% of his profit. And this little bitch be getting like 10 bucks a day. And they're like, go buy what you want. And they like hook him up with cool clothes and a nice apartment. But he's literally has no liberties in this world because he goes back to Russia. Let him act out, ask for a couple extra bucks. They're going to cut his head off. And that's going to be the next viral video. Has Bula's head rolling down like a fucking street. Yo, yo, yo. So we're bringing in this kid and they're going to have to fucking really be searching through the children's section just to get these little feet fucking matched up with some cool shoes. This is wild. This is really wild. Why is it wild? See, this is what blows my fucking mind. Okay, we got people out here that are like uh, fucking trying to make do space exploration. We got Elon Musk fucking putting strings of satellites in the sky that are eventually going to fall on us because that fucking dipshit. I don't know what he's up to. 
we got fucking scientists. We got people that are like sending massive telescopes into space to take pictures of other galaxies and shit. Do deep ex space exploration. Okay, peeking on space. And we got people that are like coming and trying to create uh, medicines to help people. And we got videos that start out like this. This kid gets out of the car, and the first thing this fucking dipshit says is, this is unbelievable. I can't believe this is happening. What are you talking about? Is that what you think every time you see a little fucking kid? You're blown away? Kind of grosses me out. Okay, and I don't buy it. But you know what's unbelievable is that this video is going to get a couple views and get this guy a couple dollars in his pocket. Now, it's not looking good. I don't know how much you paid... Because they definitely paid to get this freak in here, but they only got 33k views. Real nice. This is wild. This is really wild. How you doing, sir? What's How up, you doing? guys? Desmond. How's it going? So we'll bring y'all in. Uh, the soul stage. How's it going? Ready. How are you? Uh, yeah. Okay, he's concerned. Look at him. Fucking, what the fuck is this, dude? Look at that fucking eye. Probably got smacked around this morning, okay? Here's Hasbulla wearing the Kith outfit. A little nice kick hoodie. We heard that these are your favorite. <laughs> oh my god, great. We're giving him shit to rot. It's because this kid probably has terrible teeth. I mean, he's already a fucking mutant. He's already like the wrong size. I guarantee you he's got a slew of health issues. I'm like, yeah, eat this, kid. He's gonna fucking not even know what to do. He's gonna start eating the wrapper. He's so fucking dumb. Yum, yum, yum! <laughs> favorite i can't do this i cannot do this i can't be the guy reviewing this okay it is this is fucking stupid what are what is this video you know have you ever sat down and been like why is this even entertaining it's a fucking small person walking down a fucking shoe store to the fucking infant aisle okay getting them eight c's six size c's whatever these bullshit shoes are and we got fucking 10 cameras on them I mean, close enough to fucking see him fucking snotting out of his nose. Oh, real nice. They're putting him in hats, putting him in boots. I mean, I wish they would just put him in a fucking dumpster and just fucking set it down a hill. I mean, God damn it. Yeah, it's Kanye West, so that's why. The Kanye West. All right, cool. They're showing him shoes he'll never fit in. Real nice. This guy's a piece of shit, okay? That's all I got to say about that. That's Hasbulla and all his garbage. So, let's see what's going on.